Hello, and welcome to this walkthrough of our signature grand piano. I'm Garth Neustadter with Simple Sam Samples. Signature Grand is a 9-foot Hamburg Model D piano recorded on a world-class scoring stage. Our goal was to give you the emotional experience of playing an inspiring instrument in a beautiful space. We wanted to capture a feeling rather than thousands of individually sampled notes. Let's take a look at the main features. Central to the sound of Signature Grand is our combination of close microphones, room microphones, and various releases. Through these four controls, we can very quickly dial in a sound appropriate for almost any genre. For example, film, classical, jazz, and pop. By default, the various releases of the instrument are linked to the direct sound, much like adjusting a regular microphone. But by adjusting the releases independently, we're able to achieve a wide variety of recording ambiences. This is where the magic of the instrument really comes alive. For example, take a listen to this instrument with and without its releases. We've taken a unique approach to capturing and programming the early reflections of the hall. Early reflections are essential for giving a space its three-dimensional qualities, as well as providing a listener with the spatialization cues that are needed to give an instrument definition and focus. They act as a sort of sonic glue and are very difficult to emulate artificially. Here's our instrument going head-to-head -head with a few other popular pianos. I hope that you can really feel the three-dimensional characteristics of our sound. With Signature Grand, you will find that you can use even more of your own reverb program because it will seamlessly blend with the early reflections of our instrument. Before we look at the advanced settings, I'd like to take you through a few of the presets. Signature Grand contains over 65 presets, emulating a variety of spaces and piano recordings. We wanted our virtual instrument to be able to stand up against the greatest reference live recordings. With that in mind, let's do a few comparisons. Under the Film Preset menu, we find a wide variety of various spaces and microphone perspectives. Let's take a listen to a London studio. You can really feel the room in that example, as well as a sense of clarity and depth. Here's something a little bit closer and more intimate. We can even do something classic and slightly vintage. And finally, possibly the most popular sound for film composers.
In the classical presets menu, we have pianos ranging from solo recital to concerto and orchestral. Here's a quick look at some of our jazz presets. And finally, here are a few pop examples. Now let's take a look at the various settings that can be used to customize the instrument. To the right of the microphone section, you'll find controls for customizing the response of the instrument. These are extremely important for customizing the instrument to your style of playing and your controller. Here we can adjust the release speed from fast, which might be appropriate for pop or even classical baroque playing, to slow, which might be nice for a ballad. The hard and soft response control acts as a sort of macro control to quickly adjust your playing style and controller to our instrument. As you can see, adjusting this control also adjusts the velocity curve and offset in this section. The velocity curve and velocity offset controls are essential for getting our instrument to perform as naturally as possible with your controller. Key noise controls the various mechanical noises of hammers and dampers. Player noise adds subtle human movements and breaths, which can add a lot of realism to a performance. Adding a bit of room tone here can make the space feel even more realistic as well. Pedal noises controls the mechanical noises of both the sustain and soft pedals. The re-pedal or pedal catch feature sustains the decaying sound of a note much like a real piano would. When you release your MIDI sustain pedal partially, the half pedal control allows it to perform sonically similar to a grand piano. The resonance feature allows for various sympathetic resonances that perform like a real piano. For example, if you silently press a key on your piano and strike a note one octave below, we can hear the string being excited by the first overtone. Similarly, if we have the sustain pedal depressed, all of the strings of the piano are free to vibrate with any notes that we are playing. These sympathetic resonances add a richness and complexity to the sound that you really notice when taken away. Perspective controls the listening position of the microphones. and stereo width is used to widen or narrow the stereo image. Finally, we had a bit of fun with our Glenn mode, which pays tribute to legendary pianists of the past who are known for their vocalizations while playing. I hope we've succeeded in creating an inspiring instrument for you to play. Please check out the product link below where you can listen to more demos and tutorials. Thanks so much.